Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, which means it's nearly the weekend. How exciting. I am so, so looking forward to the weekend. I've been exhausted this week. I've also been hormonal. And I've eaten a lot because I've been hormonal and tired. So I'm really, really looking forward to the weekend. Um, But I thought I'd start a new vlog because I'm really enjoying this whole weekly vlog shebang. It's so fun. Um, My first one is going up today. And I'm like, I don't actually know if my life is that exciting. But I love watching vlogs. So I'm going to do one. Um, but I just wanted to start this vlog, say hello, and I hope you enjoy spending the weekend with me. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing, but I'm definitely filming a Zara haul, which I'm really looking forward to. And then I'm seeing one of my friends on Saturday night, um, so that'll be really, really good fun. And then I've got a few things going on this weekend. So I'm definitely gonna take you along with me to a sum up the things that I've got going on. I'm gonna get on with some work. I've got a lot on today. I've got quite a lot of meetings and then I will definitely catch up with you at some point this week. But I just wanted to say hi and welcome to a new vlog. Journey, looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning. To be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance Cause one day we'll be looking back at this We were in a big mess together oh, But we found Choose right from wrong without the strength to go on together. To go on together. Okay, I'm being very spontaneous. I've decided I'm going shopping for the fourth time this week. I need to take some stuff back to H&M um, and I need to go to a few different places to see if they have any nice homeware stuff because I'm still on the hunt and I really need to get some nice bits to go here so that is the plan i'm gonna pop to the shops see what they have i'm wearing the same jacket as always because i'm obsessed with it but we're gonna to go to the shops and see what they've got and see if there's anything worth having because i'm at the stage where i just need some new bits and i'm just ready for some new stuff Okay, I'm really hoping no one gets in the lift. I've got my Adenona bag, my jacket, bodysuit, Stradivarius, shorts, Pomsara, Ray-Ban sunglasses, and that is it. But I'm gonna go shopping and see what I can find. <laughs> I've just got back from a little trip into um, the shopping centre and I am the worst vlogger ever. Like I got so nervous, so nervous to get my camera out. Like I literally got footage of me walking and that's it. I just couldn't, I couldn't face it. I was so anxious in there. Like my heart was out of my chest. It was horrible. Um, but it's a step forward, like, I'm, I'm okay about it. I think it will get easier. But I am literally sat here with a bag of my favorite crisps. Probably gonna eat the whole pack. And I thought I'd show you the really random things I picked up from TK Maxx because I went back again. I'm just thinking whether the haul will be up yet. There will be a haul on my channel or coming to my channel soon, which is a H&M and TK Maxx haul. And of course, it had to include some TK Maxx candles. And of course, I am obsessed. So I went and got more. <laughs> this one is cold brew whiskey. Oh, I'm so glad I got it. I was in between. I was like, 
unsure, very like unsure at first, but it's divine. It's um, cold brew and rich caramel. It's so nice. I compromised and got a smaller one than I wanted. And then I got this other one, which is huge, um, which I wanted to get yesterday. I didn't get it because I felt, I thought I'd bought too many. Then I went back and got it. And I'm so glad I got this one too. It's called Midnight Mist by M of W C or G, can't tell. It's so nice. It kind of smells a little bit like men's aftershave. That is the way to describe it. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. And then I got some um, matches. I really, really wanted some matches like this, like the ones that come in the jar, because I hate having a box. So I thought this was cute. I mean, it's got this on the back. Well, it's probably the front, but I checked online and I couldn't find them anywhere. Like no kind of, I wanted a jar, right? So I'm just gonna have to have it like that and it'll be fine. And then one more thing, which is just so random, but it looks really nice. I got some pasta. It's not the sort of thing I really get from TK Maxx, but... Tagliolini al uovo. Uovo. Al uovo might mean egg. Anyway. It's like tagli Italian spaghetti mixed together, I think. That's how I would describe it to people. I love pasta. And I think it'll be really nice in a, in a jar. So that's that. And then got a delivery in the post today because we ordered, um, Neon had like a, um, basically like a starter kit for their well-being pods they had like a starter kit and it's like you get two pods and two cents for like i don't know 40 percent off or something maybe it's a, it's not an offer it's just always well it is an offer to be fair but it's not like a get it now otherwise it won't be imagine get it now otherwise it won't be here anymore it's not one of them it's just an all the time offer so Basically, it was a two well-being pod set, and they only sent us one pod. So we got another one sent in the post, and it arrived today. Yay! How exciting. That's there. That's just all right. So I'm going to... Ow! What's wrong with me? Sort that out as well. Today has been a really nice day. I have been on my own. I have done quite a lot of editing. I've edited two videos this morning and then taken all the pictures for my thumbnail. Then I went into town, tidied the flat, and tonight I'm gonna cook myself a nice dinner. I'm just not sure which one it'll be yet. And then tomorrow we are going to Columbia Road Flower Market, which I can't wait for and then hopefully we'll go to Victoria Park food market to get chubby dumplings which are like the Japanese, they're Japanese? I don't want to get that wrong, the dumplings, anyway, so that'll be really really nice. Um, so yeah, it's now quarter past five on Saturday and I am going to do a bit more editing and then I might have a bath and do a face mask. I think that would be really nice. And light one of my new candles and make the flat smell really good. I really fancy a glass of wine, but I don't have any and I can't be bothered to go to the shop. So I guess I'm not having any. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Anyway, I might see you later. If not, I will definitely, definitely speak to you tomorrow when we go to the flower market because that is going to be really 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 good i think
Okay, eucalyptus here. But we need to find those big flowers. I don't know what they are. <laughs> happy Monday it is a new week and I am starting the week by just coming to say hi as always um I had such a wholesome weekend I feel so relaxed after it it was so nice and I wanted to show you some of the flowers I got from Columbia Road Flower Market yesterday because oh, they had so much gorgeous stuff and I never knew that I'd be such a hydrangea lover um and then i've also had a few deliveries this morning i literally sound like a constant advert on this channel i'm not i just love these things and one of my friends recommended one of them to me so i thought i would try it out um but yeah good morning happy monday i hope you have a gorgeous week i'm gonna go through some of the things that i got this weekend okay so i am literally so happy with these flowers they are absolutely stunning i literally went over and i thought oh my goodness how gorgeous is the blue with the green i just think it's beautiful i'm so so happy with them and then look what arrived in the post this morning i've got my first ever box of freddie's flowers and I mean, I probably don't need them because I bought flowers yesterday and I don't have enough vases, but we're gonna have to just roll with it. So I got those this morning and then obviously my HelloFresh order has arrived and that will be my week's meals very much sorted. Um, but really looking forward to arranging the flowers because they are, I think they're called Indian Summer. They're a very like autumnal bunch with a lot of kind of auburn and um, like rich red and yellow colors in them. So really looking forward to that. And then over here, we have my alcohol stash. But then we also have this little kind of vase we bought from H&M. We got some pampas grass yesterday at the um, market, but it's still not kind of like fluffed out. So I went online and it said you need to put a hairdryer on it to help it fluff out. So might give that a little go today. I'm gonna let it do its thing. And then if need be, I will get the hairdryer out. <laughs>
on him really, really quickly because we had the best time in Cambridge. It was so beautiful, never been before, not somewhere I'd really thought about going, but oh, uh, it was wonderful. Literally such a gorgeous city. I felt as if I was in Hogwarts 90% of the time. But I wanted to tell you about two restaurants we went to, which were gorgeous. The food was 10 out of 10. And then also wanted to talk a little bit more about the Cambridge Gin Laboratory um, or the Gin Lab for sure, because it was fantastic. We went, my mum really kindly booked a little surprise for us because she knows that gin is my favourite. And we went in and the manager took us through a little tasting and we tried four different types of gin. We tried um, two kind of normal gins, like just the typical kind of juniper. And then they also had a little bit of rosemary in some of them. And then we tried an elderflower gin liqueur, which is my favorite thing in the world. I love elderflower, anything with elderflower, it's a bit of me. And they had created a truffle gin. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with truffle. I mean, it was interesting. It was not something I would necessarily repeat on a daily basis, but it was really nice. And I was really surprised, but I think I will stick to my truffle on my fries and my mash in future. But yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Such a lovely experience. And we ended up buying three little tasters of the gin to bring home. And then if we like it, we can buy some more on their website. So really, 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 really recommend that experience. It was lovely and so nice to just try a new gin because I had never heard of it before. Secondly, I wanted to tell you about two restaurants. So one of the places we went to was called Salathong Thai and it was kind of outside like the city center a little bit, but it was so unassuming. You would not think that it would be really, really, really like, you know, top-notch food but I tell you now the food was unreal it was so good we had a beef masamang curry with sticky rice and then a pad thai and Lucas and I shared that duck spring rolls prawn crackers the whole shebang it was unreal then the next day myself Lucas and my mum we went to a place called the Cambridge Chop House I think I think that's what it's called I'm just gonna check the chop house cambridge yeah so the chop house in cambridge is literally so cool so it's like a steak meat restaurant but we went on the sunday so we got a roast dinner i had roast beef with the works like the full shebang again lucas had pork belly and then my mum had like a vegetarian's heart all of it was just to die for the service was incredible. They were so kind. We were walking and they were like, we're fully booked. And then they managed to find us a table, which I love. And we also had for dessert, the sticky toffee pudding with salted caramel sauce and vanilla ice cream. My mum had the eaten mess. We all tried it. It was just amazing. We had such a lovely day. We explored Cambridge a little bit more and the food was 10 out of 10 and I would definitely go back. So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit more and recommend it to anyone who's going because sometimes when you Google things, best recommendations don't come up. So I wanted to give that to you. But finally, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I get that it's been a little bit all over the place. Bit of just seeing what I do. Um, you know, I'm pretty standard on my day to day, but it's been a really nice vlog to film and I've really enjoyed editing it too. So if this is something you'd like to see more of, then please do subscribe to my channel. Give me a little like, I would absolutely love that. And do feel free to leave any comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions about Cambridge or Columbia Road Flower Market or anything else that we've done this past week. But with that, I will say goodbye and I will see you in my next vlog.